Hi guys. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a first view of this Energizer smartphone. It's the E500. Um, so I've actually never seen an Energizer phone before, but it seems like they have quite a few different ones at the moment and it may be something they're branching into. So yeah, I thought let's just buy this and um, see what it's all about. So I'm going to put some gloves on because I don't actually want to get any fingerprints on this phone. These are actually driving gloves, not really unboxing gloves, although I don't think you get unboxing gloves. Okay, so it's quite a nice dirty case. Uh, doesn't tell you too much about the phone or oh, there is some stuff there in Arabic unfortunately there's a sticker over the English part um, let's see here okay tells you Energizer E500 it's made in China uh, it's black it takes two SIM cards okay oh there's more information here okay it's 3G Android Oreo 5.0 screen size uh, 5 megapixels on the back camera and 2 on the front 4 core CPU 8 GB RAM, RAM 2000 mAh for battery life we had dual so many to knew that and up to 32 GB um, uh, memory card which is not included and it's apparently ultra slim okay charging from this box it doesn't really look ultra slim but um, yeah let's see oh it also got a anti-shock back cover which i'm guessing is included yeah that's what it says and i think that's a screen guard but i can't confirm this box actually is a bit dented here um it's uh quite sturdy though quite hard okay so let's just cut this open and then see what's inside These are more like bag tags that you get at the airport. I'm not sure why they're using it to seal a phone. In any case. Okay. So that's the first look at the phone wasn't a very bright idea let's put everything flat back half the stuff already out the box but in any case so this is what the phone looks like this is obviously a sticker um, okay it's uh, it's not very light I have to say uh, it's a good size though in the hand uh, I would say it's similar to the P20 in size. I actually have an iPhone here. Okay, so this is the iPhone 7. It's the same size basically as an iPhone 7. Maybe a little bit wider, but same length. The gloves, I'm guessing now, wasn't a very good idea. Um, obviously, it supports Wi-Fi. You get Google search. It's an Android phone. Uh, it looks like an Android phone. Um, something doesn't feel right about this. Just, just. Okay, actually, was the glove? It feels much lighter now. Actually maybe a bit too light well, let's see what else is in the box so we saw this covering uh, very smart looking uh, 
cover and the first thing that grabs your eye ah there we go so the battery is not in the phone uh, okay that makes sense now battery is not in the phone that's why it doesn't feel right comes with a little booklet it tells you a little bit about the phone it has a charging port I'm not really sure who the target market is here but um, you can see it has a AUX cable and a regular charging port there's no fingerprint scanner so I'm guessing it's a low end well, this is quite nice eh? velvet they made the box look very premium this is very sturdy as well but the phone doesn't seem very premium although the price tag that came with was what maybe like 20 or 30 dollars so shouldn't expect too much okay i was right it does come with the screen guard and with the clean cloth and with the alcohol pad to do that yourself which i will not be attempting I'd rather go to those people in the mall and, I don't know, pay them five bucks and ask them to do it. Oh, this is quite a nice cover. Yeah. It's very sturdy. Not the prettiest. I'm guessing for this phone is more for people who work uh, a lot outdoors, uh, construction and stuff. Wow. That is one ugly cover, actually, I have to say. Um, yeah, I mean, why is it so yellow? It's it, it, Normally that happens like after a year when the cover gets dirty. Um, yeah, that is Uggs. Okay. Okay, they give you... Is it fast charging? Nope, but it is obviously branded for Energizer. Okay, and the regular charging cable, although I think everyone already has a couple of these lying at home. Oh wow, look what they actually include. I've, al oh. I've also never seen uh, headsets before made by Energizer. So yeah, these I have to say don't seem very uh, strong. They so look quite cheap. Um, I don't expect much from them, but I mean that's all that comes in the box. Okay, cool. So I may do another video of the uh, look and feel of this, although I mean, I think we already get the idea. It's a basic phone, so basically what you'd expect from like an Oppo or I don't know, Samsung S4 or S5. Uh, I don't, it doesn't seem very promising, but it, like I said, it seems like a very budget phone, maybe for people who work construction or outdoors, maybe as a second phone or burner um yeah okay i hope you like this video and this new style of uh, unboxing and asmrs giving this a shot if you'd like to see more let me know or if you'd like to see me unbox something specific or i don't know want to learn anything on how to videos then you can let me know about that as well